Ugh, gross. That is the grossest one yet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with Tara Strong, the queen of voices. I am so excited to speak with her before getting into our five drawers of mystery snacks. They could taste great and they could definitely taste horrible. Thank you so much for being here, Tara. Thanks for having me, beauty. It's nice to see you again. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I am not even a low-key fan of yours, girl. You are like <laughs> so inspirational and I, I can't even, I can't even. Aw, well same, you're a force. You're a force, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let's do open up our drawer number one and see what kind of jelly bean we have to taste. Oh, <gasps> I know what this is. I want you to know we're gonna do this together. So before you put it in your mouth, it is either buttered popcorn or rotten egg. <laughs> okay. You ready for this? Yeah. I will tell you this, we have alpha food snacks, like an actual snack, so that we don't have to just completely hate our lives. I'm not excited about this, but let's go for it. Ready, one, two, three. I got buttered popcorn! I think it's rotten egg. Oh, no! Yeah. That's not delicious! They'll treat me like a baby. I'll show them, I'll prove that I can be Oh, Tara, 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 you are so amazing. I mean, what led up to Bubbles? How did that all happen? This is really such an amazing show. I grew up watching this. It inspired me for Kim Possible. I, I really want to talk about things that are hardcore, but like there's really gross jelly belly in my teeth. <laughs> so sorry. Powerpuff Girls was an audition at Hanna-Barbera with Craig McCracken and Gendy, and you know, they had just brought out the Whoop-Ass Girls, his, his pilot, and they were only recasting Bubbles. At the time, I didn't know any of the players, but I knew that Bubbles had to be super adorable. But I guess they just liked how tough Bubbles was, and how cute she was, that she could be this tough and still be really cute. You know, she was, she was like the cutest one, but she could still kick ass, which was amazing. And yes, Powerpuff Girls was very important to young girls and to friends of young girls for empowering them um, that they could be just as tough as the boys and save the world before bedtime. It was a fantastic show that definitely kick-started superhero girls in animation. A hundred percent, I love that. And I'm, I'm actually just curious, when you did see Bubbles, do you feel like there was sort of a magic that happened when you locked into her picture? I mean, how helpful is that when you go in and you see that character that you will end up becoming? I always like to see the drawings. I like to get as much information as possible because any little thing will alter your read. So if I have an audition, it's super helpful. I always put the drawing right beside it so I can keep referring back to it and say, okay, this is how production wants this character to sound. And then of course you have to be malleable because they might go, now we want her a little older. Now we want her to have braces. <laughs> and you have to kind of go, okay. You're the master. Let's move on to our second drawer before I keep fangirling you. But now I'm afraid. You tricked me. That was not a hardcore jelly bean. I'm sorry, but I, I can't say that they're not gonna get worse or better. <laughs> I can't I can't tell you. We've got chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Great life decision doing this show. I'm so glad you had me on. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I can't tell. I think I got pudding. I can't tell either. Yeah, I think it maybe must have been the pudding then. We both got lucky on that round. The big ramp. I can't do it. I won't. I Timmy, 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 Timmy. All right, all right. I live in this world as Timmy. I couldn't play Timmy on camera, which is another thing that's beautiful about animation. You get to play characters you'd never play on camera. This was already a creation of Oh Yeah cartoons. They did six of them. Mary Kay Bergman was the lead and she passed away. And at the audition, I was feeling really sad because I, I really liked her. She was a beautiful soul. People were like playing her in tape recordings and it just felt like very strange to me. And I went and I said to Butch like, I'm not gonna do Mary Kay. I'm gonna do my own little version and if that works, great. But I'm not gonna like, I don't know, it just felt like dishonoring her. Like I, I just loved her so much that I wanted it to be my own thing. And I guess they liked this version of Timmy Tur. And I wished I got the part and I got it. And um, it's been a real great ride. We had so much fun doing this show. Yes, what would you say is the most fun that you can have during during a recording process? Like besides, you know, recording in your pajamas, but. Yeah, I think the thing that people don't necessarily know is when you create a family with these people and you're playing, I mean, look at Teen Titans. You know, we've been together for 20 years and we all genuinely love each other so much. We are a family. 
Fairly Odd Parents and Powerpuff Girls were the same. And when you talk about magic, you know when you're with a cast if it's a magic cast or not. And those shows were definitely, definitely magic. All right, are you ready, Tara, to move on to our third drawer? So this one, this little blue guy, toothpaste or a berry. All right, one, two, three. I got a toothpaste. <laughs> I did too. Okay, class, your math homework tonight is to play video games. What's, What's our, our English, English assignment? assignment? To throw away your textbook. This is you on Big Time Rush. I don't know if your kids are into it, but mine have started re-watching for nostalgia. And we've since discovered it's become like a whole resurgence phenomenon. It's the silliest show, but people just love it so much and it's bringing people together again. It's making people happy again. It was a great cast and we had so much fun doing the show. All right, are we ready for our next drawer? I'm not. This one's either toasted marshmallow or stink bug. You ready? Yes. I did it. I did it. I got stink bug. Oh. That is the grossest one yet. A light on the sidekick here, Josh. I'd say Wade is a lot more than a sidekick, mister. He runs Kim's website, builds all them gadgets. He keeps the whole operation running. Yay, we're reunited. Oh. <laughs> Together again. So That's cute. So yes, it was such a cute character. I mean, how do you pitch your voice to sound like a child? I just, I don't know. I, I, do, I can do a little boy voice pretty good. But overall, doing a female youth Female voice, that's a hard one to do. Well, I bet you could do it. I bet you could do it with practice. You have to understand the people that work all the time, the legacy voice actors, work every single day. Like if you if you really had to do it, I'm sure you could do it. The trick is to making it authentic, right? Anytime you're doing something younger, it's all up here. I don't really think so much about, oh no, I have to make her younger. I just envision that I am that person. So if I'm a young, if I'm a really young person, I take breaths in weird places. You know, like it automatically just happens. Where I know I'm a teenager, it's gonna be around here, but it's not gonna be like a pushed sound. If something sounds too pushed, unless they're asking for an over the top cartoony push sound, you want it to be able to sound authentic. All right, are you ready for our last, last, I'm sweating. All right, are you ready? This Tara is either strawberry smoothie or dead fish. Oh, oh God, no, no. Ugh, oh, gross. That's disgusting. I think you got all bad ones, Tara. I'm so sorry. This is, this oh is. Oh my God. This is disgusting. <laughs> Funny, all it takes is one giant gorilla attacking the city and I just waltz in the front door. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Here she is. Aww. Another character I definitely grew up with and was totally in love with. You know, the first time I heard, heard Harley, I was playing Batgirl alongside Mark Hamill and Kevin Conroy, which was already like pinch me. And when you talk about actors mm -hmm. that do both, Mark Hamill is really like one of the few A-list celebrities that's just as good at animation as he is in on camera. I love you, Puddin. Yeah. Um, and I would watch Arlene Sorkin, who the role was created for. You know, she was on a soap opera and dressed as a Harlequin. Bruce Timm and Paul Dini thought it might be fun to give the Joker a girlfriend in the show. She was in the show before she was in the comics. And they based it off Arlene and her natural voice is so beautiful and so unique. And then when they wanted to introduce a little bit of a different spin for the video games, I was super nervous because, you know, when you step into a legacy character that's already so beloved by the fans, it's daunting. But, you know, Harley's one of those characters that like, you know, when you go and do a video game, it's just you for four hours, so it can be vocally taxing even if you're not doing 100 death sounds. Sometimes for video games, you're like, oh, this is gonna be a hard session, you get a little cranky. If it's Harley, I'm never cranky. She's like my therapy. I feel like you should be in a cameo of any of these live actions. I feel like the success of all of these shows has a lot to do with your talent, but well, that's just me. I appreciate that's that, and it's me. like when the movies, like with the Suicide Squad and all those characters came out, I said, like, it'd be so fun if me and Hamill and Conroy were just like at a diner. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, like a random, so fun. you know? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Tara, for being on this crazy little show. Thanks we for love you. Me I love up. you. I can't wait to see you. I love you too. And also, where can we find you? Do you have any cons coming up? Or like, where can we find you just online? I'm not doing any cons um, right away, but I, I definitely post about everything I do, and every social I have is just my name, at Tara Strong. Well, thank you so much, Tara. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please go ahead and hit the like button. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.